Chapter one, the journey begins. Upon my arrival, I was greeted by the sounds of Earth, Wind, and Fire, the Jackson Five, the Manhattans, the OJs, James Brown, the Commodores, Cool and the Gang, the Gap Band, McFadden and Whitehead, Smokey Robinson, Al Green, and a long list of others which consisted of funk, soul, disco, gospel, R&B, rock, and even country. This journey began on September 24, 1975, in a small town called New Glasgow, Nova Scotia, born to a black indigenous Nova Scotian woman and Central African man in a tight-knit community known as the Vale Road. It was here that I experienced the sounds that would shape my musical taste buds for years to come, temporarily residing with my grandparents and being surrounded by a host of other relatives instilled a strong sense of family and belonging. This is the essence of what we call down home. The Vale Road was predominantly black indigenous community consisting of people who resided in the province of Nova Scotia for well over 200 years. I left the Vale Road in 1981 and landed in the west end of Toronto in a building fondly referred to as the Brown Building at 3390 Keel Street near Shepherd Avenue West. My neighborhood was a melting pot of cultures consisting of African, Caribbean, Southeast Asian, Chinese, Middle Eastern, European, South American, and those who just prefer to consider themselves Canadian. Many, if not most, were first-generation Canadians, but none of that mattered to my childhood peers. We occupied our time only concerned with games like marbles, kick the can, chase, baseball, basketball, playing on monkey bars, wrestling, slap boxing, and a litany of other mischievous activities that would help us become who we were meant to be. Somewhere in the middle of all this, we were often enchanted by the sounds of Michael Jackson, Prince, Madonna, Eddie Grant, Musical Youth, Rita Marley, Bob Marley and the Wailers, Dennis Brown, and whatever else captured our imaginations from the world of pop culture. Oftentimes, we just heard our parents playing what would range from funk, soul, disco, and R&B to calypso, soca, reggae, and eventually dancehall. Music was always around, and we were often dancing, but it's more or less a happenstance activity. <laughs> 